Hey everybody, it's Melanie coming to you from the back porch that used to have the wall mural. What's up? Um, I wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about riding the waves of change and riding the waves of unpredictability. <laughs> uh, this morning is a for Saturday. It's Saturday morning, and Saturdays are a very busy day for us. And uh, our horse feeder friend Chandler is out of town this week and so I've been feeding Lucky in the mornings and then going back out and feeding him at nighttime. So I had to wake up early than normal because we Chandler and I switched and he's been doing morning feeding. So I had to wake up at five today. I got to wake up at five today. Woke up at five, drove out, fed the horse, came back, bought um two bags of ice at the grocery or the gas station. Which by the way was twelve dollars and twenty two cents. So the two 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 got me and I only had twelve dollars on me. And I was like, hey, I'll go get the extra 22 cents. He's like, no, 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 not a problem. I was like, all right, cool, dude. So I go home, put the ice in the cooler, load up the car. I've got three exercise pens. I've got the cooler. It's a giant, giant cooler. Um, my daughter's bracelet making stuff. Our lunches are packed. They've had breakfast. I've cleaned up the kitchen. I've done all of the things. I load up the three kids. I load up the five bunnies while the kids are loading up the bunnies. But we're all packed. We're ready to go. We're on the road. We're actually not late for once. Shocker, right? get to our store so we can load up our juice into our cooler and realize that yesterday I left the store early because I had a music gig in Manio and had to go get ready for that. And so I left my keys at the store and Chris took them and locked up last night and left them in his car because he wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking. Everybody was just going on about their normal life and I didn't have any keys to get the juices out to be able to go to the market and sell our juices and have our Saturday morning. I can't tell you how frustrated I was. I can't tell you how, like, irritable <laughs> I was. And it was only about five seconds that I felt that way. And I had just had a conversation with my kids because I had had this experience last night where I went to a music gig. It's a terrible music gig. It's so hard to play there. Um, there's people talking. It's really loud. It's a dinner scenario, but nobody wants to listen to the live music that's provided. And so they're all blabbing and talking over you and the acoustics are really loud and it just feels like you're sitting there and you shouldn't be there. That's what it feels like. So I go and I play this gig and I just, I'm like, I get paid two hours to sit here and practice. And Chris real, reminded me that it's end, like four hours that I put into the time to get there. And actually it was five hours by the time I left the store to stop juicing, came home, got showered, got ready to go, went to Manio, which is 20 minutes away, played, set up, played the gig, broke down, came home. It was 9.45 at night when I got home. I was like, all right, you're right. Like 120 bucks for five hours of time isn't really that worth it. And he goes, don't ever book that gig again. It's not worth your time. And I said, no, but it is because I met this cool kid. He's 11 years old. He was born on 11-11-2011. And his parents are these fantastic, amazing, beautiful family people. And only because I forgot my microphone stand last night, had to borrow a microphone stand from the Arts Council. Thank you, Arts Council. Then I had to tape my microphone to the microphone stand be and I didn't even have the right microphone that I normally have because Chris had taken that out of the box like two weeks ago and didn't notice that it wasn't in there when I went to leave because I never touched my stuff and I thought it was all in there and uh so it was like my secondary backup mic taped to a mic stand <laughs> it was so ridiculous and all of these things happened and the universe collided and converged so that we could have that meeting and I sat there and I hung out with them for a few minutes and they were like, yeah, he got a guitar nine months ago. And I was like, well, here, play this one while I set up the rest of the stuff. And I gave him my guitar. No other musician's probably going to do that for an 11 year old kid, but I got kids and I understand how important music is. And I give him my guitar and he starts strumming and I'm like, holy shit, this kid's better than I am at playing the guitar. <laughs> I was like, do you, does he want to stay and play and I'll sing? And they're like, oh, that's funny. I said, no, really. Like if you, if you guys want to come back after you go out, do what you're going to do come back and he can play a couple of songs it's not a problem at all and they were like really so yeah he's really good and so they through the journey and through the story they told me that they recognized this kid's affinity for music and they recognized this kid's love for music and how important it was in his life and they were going to feed his love for music and do whatever they could to do that and um he has a recording studio he has any instrument he asks for um, he practices six hours a day. Like they really encouraged this behavior with him. And I said, this is amazing. I'm really glad you guys are doing this. Uh, my parents told me to get a real job and not to pursue music, even though it was something I was doing since five years old. Um, and so it's really awesome to see people supporting 
the youth like you guys are. So keep it up and you're doing awesome. And it just was like such a life changing moment. And the guy then hands me his phone and he's like, this is what I do. And I shape surfboards. He did mandala surfboards like two years ago. So we were like meant to meet, you know, like we're meant to like collaborate and do cool shit. And so it's just mind blowing how these serendipitous things can happen when we just let go, we ride the waves. I wanted to be all irritable and crazy last night. And instead, and like I'm playing that terrible gig, I sat there, I played Ice Ice Baby by Vanilla Ice. I played Snoop Dogg, <laughs> Gin and Juice. And I just like finger plucked stuff, <laughs> made up my own melodies. Not one person in the restaurant noted. I noticed I had multiple people like the wait staff tell me how good of a singer I was and how grateful that I was there and my music was beautiful. <laughs> I was like, I'm just playing random shit up here that I had never practiced. Like, I just would pull it up and be like, all right, let's try. Let's see what happens. Nobody noticed. Rocked and roll with it. Um, so, yeah, this video is all about riding the waves of change and riding the unexpected waves of serendipity as they come and allowing the process because you never know who you're going to meet, who you're going to run into, what's going to happen. And so today we are on our way to this surf contest down the road and we don't know what's going to happen. And we wouldn't have been able to go if it wasn't for this whole mess up with the juice thing. So anyways, that's my story for today. I only have 10 seconds left to say goodbye. So peace, love, namaste. I got to clear the uh, videos out of the phone again. All right. Adios guys. Adios.